down starting Terran versus Protoss Rocker winning game four to even up the series as he is now going to be going up against a Terran. All right, Rock responding as the purple Protoss here on the bottom left-hand side of the map at what I'll call the 8 o'clock position. Meanwhile, a full cross spawn here on Taldorim Altar from Proxima spawning as the orange Terran. So um, what do you make of this a full cross spawns? It's going to take a long time for them to perhaps scout each other unless they decide to do a full scout um, um, completely across the map. What do you What do you think these players may try to do? Yeah, we uh, might have another long game on our hands. This is a map where you can definitely easily take that natural and then that third and sometimes even a fourth are pretty easy to take before you have to start getting you know, out onto the map uh, where your expansions are really vulnerable. So could definitely have another long one here. Maybe we'll set a record for uh, length in Wednesday Night StarCraft after already having a number of macro games. Yeah, definitely. We can see an early probe now already making his way out. It will be doing some scouting, scouting in a clockwise direction. It will take some time before he does find his opponent. Meanwhile, Proxima, most likely he will build a barracks on the front door and then followed by a supply depot. And Proxima may go for a gasless expansion. Um, the map does generally lean in that direction. Reaper expands are popular against Protoss players as well. But because of the size of the map, because of the large walking distances, um, we actually it looks like Proxima is going to be going for a, a 14 gas. Yeah, that's an interesting decision. You know, a lot of times we don't see gas from Terran early on in this matchup. But if they do get it, you know, they can get those upgrades and get stim and combat shields and really make the uh, that bio force just that much more scary. A lot of times we say that the gateway units beat the barracks units at the start. And then it sort of goes back towards Terran once they get Stim and uh, Combat Shields. And then sort of goes back to uh, Protoss if they're able to get those upgrades going for them. Yeah, definitely. We're going to see a Marine now being added. Um, Supply Depot is being built as well. It does look like um, perhaps Reapers could be added. I would be very surprised if we actually saw a factory with a reactor on the barracks as that would completely baffle me into what exactly Proxima's strategy would be. As a Marine is out, it will be chasing down that probe, and now we are going into a reactor. So what do you make of this, As especially as there's no more gas being harvested from the barracks or from that refinery? Yeah, uh, he could just, you know, just a ton of uh, Marines could try some sort of push if he thinks that his opponent is going for uh, a fast expand. So far, Rocker hasn't really tipped his hand. You know, yeah, he is actually saving up and uh well no it looks like uh yeah both players probably gone for this expansion hmm yeah so i i, I think the i think the gas opening was there to just perhaps confuse now proxima is able to double train marines and essentially also saving some time by not having to build a second barracks he can do a swap later on if he wants to and then i think he's just going to focus on marines in bunkers on the ramp to try to fend off against any attack. Meanwhile, um, I thought we were going to have a Nexus being placed down at the natural, but um, it looks like perhaps was it canceled by a... Uh, no, I don't think it was canceled. Now just finally being placed down by a rocker. So maybe he wanted to uh, try to have it not scouted. And it looks like the... Uh, yeah, it looks like uh, the SCV didn't quite see the expansion, but he saw a probe out there. So... He knows that either the probe is placing a proxy down uh, across the map or, you know, there is that expansion there. And like you're saying, he's doing the smart thing by getting that bunker up. All right. So it is going to turn back into the more traditional style of play. Just a, a different opening for the same results. Mass Marines with bunkers on the front door. And we'll see how Rocker is going to respond. The bunker, very effective at keeping those Marines alive, especially if you have SCVs. Proxima already upgrading to an orbital command at the natural expansion. And the additional mule will give him a very strong economy as Rocker now going into perhaps four going into four gateways. And we'll see if perhaps he's gonna do perhaps even a six gate push um off of two bases. Yeah, he is uh yeah, we'll see how many gateways he does add. That this is interesting timing for that, but it is gonna be a robotics facility instead, so maybe he might go for an immortal or two, uh and go for some sort of push. 
Yeah, Immortal's very powerful at, and you know, just bunker busting. That range of 6 equal to a Marine inside, also able to deal 50 damage per attack. It attacks every like 1.4 seconds, so slightly faster than a Marauder when not using stimmed or not being stimmed, as we can see, just more gateways being added, but are they actually going to be warping in any units? It looks like it's not, as there's really not enough resources for it. Yeah, not quite yet, but uh, it's interesting that he's adding all of these right now. It, that would signify you know, some sort of timing he might be looking for, or maybe he just wants to have enough gateways to defend against any sort of uh, push out by Proxima, but both players just sort of playing cautiously at the moment and defending. Proxima is getting up that factory, and uh, I imagine he will be going for the traditional bio play that we often see in this matchup. Yeah, the factory should end up getting a reactor, a starport, and will be placed down right behind it. As we see a Stalker holding onto a Zelnaga Tower here, not the prime Zelnaga Tower that you want to hold, as you may not see units as they slip out. But then again, that Stalker would be a little bit safer as we see the Zealots and Sentries looking to destroy these destructible rocks. And still waiting to see how these gateways are going to be used. Three, uh, three out of the four gateways are currently ready to warp in additional units if they actually had the resources. Yeah, we saw Rocker go for a very macro style in the last game, getting on those three bases so fast. So it doesn't uh, really surprise me that we see him already taking down those rocks and maybe trying to establish a quick third and then sort of playing this one off three bases. Yeah, and we'll see what exactly is coming in for Proxima. Proxima looks like he's going to be going into that um, Terran play. Uh, what, three barracks, two tech labs, one reactor, stim now being researched, concussive shells, and combat shield could be coming in right behind it as we are going into a robotics bay coming in from Rocker. So Rocker should be starting those colossi, but first getting some immortals and now finally getting up an observer. So um, the observer is now making its way out or two observers making their way around the map as there is room for another nexus here. Rocker, however, is currently supply blocked. 76 over 76. Yeah, and we'll see uh, if he does go for that Nexus. It looks like he has enough minerals, perhaps, or he could save up very quickly, but he's not going to at the moment. And with that uh, robotics bay finishing, I imagine he's going to want to either start uh, Colossi production, maybe get out extended thermal lance after he starts a Colossus or two, and go for some sort of uh, timing. But the uh, the Colossus also going to allow him to defend against any sort of timing by Proxima. Proxima not going to have a lot of Metavex this early in the game, so Colossus is going to be very good with their splash damage. Yeah, we'll, we'll see what's happening right now. We don't have enough energy or enough minerals for the extended thermal lance range. We're sitting at 107 compared to 88, but there are a fair amount of sentries um, with ma almost maximum energy. So each of those do have enough energy for four force fields. And those 16 force fields could spell the difference between victory and defeat, especially if you add in perhaps a guardian shield to try to protect against that damage from the marines. Yeah, we do see a medevac coming in here for a bit of a drop, so uh, this actually might be spotted by the uh, the pylon that Rocker just placed down. We'll see. But uh, Proxima hoping to draw first blood here with... Uh, this drop and I'm not sure how much damage it's going to do but might actually be able to spot this one Colossus depending on where it does drop. Proxima now moving out with Marauders and Marines in the center portion of the map. The pylon does spot it and now Proxima is going to go ahead and destroy that proxy pylon here as a factory now will get shot out of the sky. Pretty much Rocker knows that it is going to be Terran Bio since the factory is being used to scout. Um, I, apparently Terran, a lot of Terran players like to use their factory to scout as opposed to um, using a scanner sweep. Don't waste scanner sweeps. Just waste the factory. Yeah, and Proxima actually creating another starport right before the factory died. I think that's so smart getting out two starports as we do have the drop coming in here. We'll talk about the starports maybe right after this drop and Proxima hoping to do some damage with the warp ins already coming. Rocker already reacting and a bit of a skirmish at the south portion as well. Rocker taking the worst of this as the Stim Marines just chewing through the uh, the army of Rocker so far. Yeah, so far the force fields did arrive or did come in a little bit late. There are still Marauders and Marines here. One Colossus does get taken out. A second Colossus perhaps needs to be chrono boosted as Rocker was not watching his units. And now the Marines and the Marauders are going to retreat. Rocker now behind by about 45 food. This is not good, especially as probes are now coming off the mineral line and the robotics facility has been destroyed. He is in a lot of trouble. This drop is still not cleaned up and his front door is weak as well. Proxima might get the GG out of Rocker in just a moment. 
Marines still stimming after that Colossus. The Colossus coming in. Probes need to come off the mineral line, perhaps try to save this. Uh, Harvester count looking at 54 versus 57, but the standing army telling a very different story as there's the GG. Convergence Gaming now up 3-2 here on Wednesday Night StarCraft. Yeah.